You are listening to the Audio Missile Podcast. And Auto Missile Podcast is back. Podcast. Today we're here with our good friend, Cesar de Leon. Cesar. Yes. Always a pleasure. I love coming here. That's good, because we like having you. You have good stories. You like beer? Yes. What's your uh, favorite beer? Uh, you, like, like a- you like ales or stouts or pilsners or... I, mean, I like the, the stuff that looks like Corona, like the pilsner. You like the uh, Mexican beers? Half and white, sir. Well, one of my favorite beers is Guinness. Oh. And I even named my dog Guinness. Uh, my dog is, she, she's uh, 14 years old. Her name's Guinness. What do they call that? Meal in a bottle? <laughs> they used to call it meal in a bottle back in the old days. And it turns out that it does have antioxidants and stuff in it. But I don't know about a meal in a bottle. <laughs> but there seems to be, uh, I didn't know this, but there's a lot of history in, uh, with the Guinness brand, with the family, actually, right? Oh, oh, yes. It goes with the Guinness family curse you're talking about? Oh, it's a curse, huh? And it goes back hundreds of years you're talking about? So why are they still in business? Well, it's not the company that's cursed. It's the family. Like, what's going on? What's the curse? <laughs> it's like the wind. Remember, like, there's like a Winchester, remember? Like oh, family. the Winchester <laughs> rifles? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, they have, like, the house with all the stairs leading to nowhere and doors that open. Because <laughs> the, the lady, the wife, wanted to confuse the spirits because she felt like she was cursed by all the people that lost their lives to a Winchester gun. Wow. Yeah, well, Tal, you know, it, it's pretty sad in the news. I saw a uh, 19-year-old Guinness heir. Her name is Honor Yuleth. She died in a swimming pool accident. They are having a barbecue uh, a few days ago, and, she, and uh, she died in the swimming pool. She was quite young, right? Mm. 19, yeah, right? 19 years old. You know, she was the daughter of Rupert Yuloth and Lady Louise Jane Guinness, the heiress of uh, the Guinness uh, beer. And, you know, their combined worth was $1.6 Too many billion. people dying in white people's rich pools. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the thing. There was like, there was a bunch of people at the party and no one noticed her drown. Yeah, you know, uh, there was a lot of people, and apparently she was in the hot tub for a little while, and she went for a night swim, the classic night swim by herself, and that maybe had been drinking, and uh, her family has been plagued with uh, curses, they say, for years. I mean, the amount of deaths. I don't know. We can get into it. I mean, look. I'm always suspicious well, of people off. dying. let's start off. Let's start from the at- beginning. Well, just so you know, 10 million pints per day of Guinness people drink. 10 million pints per day. And what, what was it? The company's like seventh ranked. It's, you know, uh, it was uh, at one point seventh ranked. It was on, the seventh uh, largest company in the world. In the world. I mean, and they're, they're worth billions of dollars. Oh, I could see why. Guinness wow. is a very uh, delicious beer. It's one of my favorites. It's like ice cold. It's like you could taste the hints of chocolate and yeah, egg and vanilla. And it kind of tastes like uh, growing up in New York, I, I used to drink this thing called Malta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know Malta. Yeah. And it just tastes like you, it, it, it's like, it feels like you mixed the Corona with the Malta. And that's the Guinness. Like, it still tastes sweet. Like well, when I, went, or when I went to the East Coast, uh, I was in Philadelphia. Yeah. And I asked the bartender, hey, you have any Guinness? And he says, no. But we have something similar. And I'm like, what do you have? And he gave me some stuff called Bare Knuckle. The Bare Knuckle. Which is, it doesn't mm. exist anymore. Yeah. But it was actually uh, Anheuser Busch, I think. And it was like their their attempt at Guinness, and it was all right. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, you know, so 10 million pints per day, you know, around the world. It and is. it was started by Arthur Guinness, and the beer was known at first as Uncle Arthur. That's what they called it. And at the time, he was the richest man in Ireland. Yeah, it was you know, one of, it's the biggest brand in Ireland. Hey, but that came out of price. But they moved to England, though. Right. Well, you know, how many kids did you say you had 22? Out of 21 kids, I think 10 <laughs> passed away, right? Yeah, only 10. Um, guess what? <laughs> made it to adulthood. <laughs> That's almost half. <laughs> no, listen, only 10 made it to adulthood. Two of his grandkids ended up in a mental institution. Oh, my God. You know, Poor so from family. there, we're there's gonna, a lot of alcoholics in the family, too. Oh, yeah. So from there, well, let's fast forward to 1944. This Damn. will kick off the story tonight. Cairo, Egypt, you know, yeah. and he, his name was the first Lord Moyne. 
and he was killed by a terrorist gang, a Zionist terrorist gang called the Stern Gang, oh, while he was driving in his limousine in Cairo, Egypt in 1944. Right, that's where the curse <laughs> kicks off. <laughs> I know it's a crazy story, my boy. Fuck. You ever been to Egypt? You were what? You went to Iraq? Yes. So that's just a couple Kuwait. hours away, right there. Yeah. I mean, I don't really want to go. <laughs> I mean, if I wanted to go see a pyramid, I go to Mexico. They're closer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Tulum. <laughs> so, so let's jump to 1960s. Well, then, where the next heir. The name was Patrick Tara Brown. You know, he used to hang out with the Beatles. He was famous. He, he'd hang out with all the celebrities in England at the time. And uh, he was known <laughs> for his heavy partying. Well, guess what? He drove through a red light, probably drinking oh, that shit. Guinness beer. And you know. And you know what? They say <laughs> that the song of the Beatles, A Day in the Life, <laughs> was inspired you know, by him. Inspired yeah. by that. John Lennon wrote wow. that song because of that, that rich dude. He wow. would party hard, you know. The family was known for this shit. You know, so from there, let's... what. what 1978, the lady Henrietta Guinness. She suffered serious injuries when her lover, Michael Beebe, he crashed his Aston Martin, you know, in the French Riviera. They're out yeah. there gambling and drinking, you know, and so she was so depressed, she flew to Italy and jumped off a bridge. <laughs> oh, it must have been a very special bridge if you had to fly all the way out wow. there and jump off of it, right? You know what I'm saying? If you really wanted to kill yourself, any bridge would do, but. You want it to be special, you'll find a special bridge. You know, the family, and every time somebody dies, they pass on the money and somebody else becomes an heir. Well, in that same year, his name was Major Dennis Guinness. He was 44 years old and he was found at his parents' house in Hampshire, you know, dead. And he was another heir to the fortune. And guess what? Early in the night, he had, he had been arrested for waving around guns, oh drinking, you know, going to the problems. pub, starting trouble. So basically the theme that I see here is that they're, they create alcohol and then the family got caught up on the alcohol itself. They become alcoholics. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Where are we at right here? This is a 1978. And I'm drinking a beer as we uh, <laughs> no, this podcast just. Well, guess what? We can go to the next one, 1986. That's Olivia Channon. And that's the daughter of Guinness heir Paul Channon was found dead from a drug OD. In the, you know, she See, OD'd what I'm on saying, drugs. It's the same theme, like partying and- The more rich you time. are, the more problems. Well, guess what? Her cousin, Sebastian Guinness, ended up being charged with supplying her the drugs. <laughs> I, feel, <laughs> I feel like listening to these stories, it makes you appreciate your upbringing, you know, cause you're really grateful for life and- So we were at 1986, let's go to 1988. John Guinness died after he fell 150 <laughs> meters in was North drunk? Wales. Probably. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? And just two years earlier, they had kidnapped his wife from their Dublin home and pistol whipped him to, to kidnap him and rob him for his money. I mean, it, the money comes with the price. Demons. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are surrounding that family. Oh, oh, come on. I mean, it's just beer. I mean, they're not selling guns and missiles. It's just and beer. I mean, it's just beer. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to get it to 2005. Robert Hesketh died in his sleep at 48 years old. And who was Robert Hesketh? Who? He was married to the daughter of First Lord Moyne. You know, the dude I said that got shot in Cairo in the yeah. limousine. Well, his daughter married a dude. That dude dies in his sleep at 40 years old. You know, the whole oh family. And then fast forward up to just last week, 19 years, years old. old. She dies in the pool at the barbecue. She's worth... 1.6 billion. Yeah, I thought I thought the Kennedys uh, had it rough, yeah, but exactly these are like I was this, about to this say family that. tops it. You they know, don't and there's talk more. About this in school. There's more to it. You know, in terms of like their business, they've always done well, but there's been stock scandals, buybacks, oh, yeah, yeah, prices. all that, the whole thing. They've been charging <sighs> EU courts. That's how they become millionaires. <laughs> no billionaires, my boy. Yeah. yeah. The and the dude started off 2.5 billion or something like that. The company, yeah, with Uncle Arthur, because but but the beer was good. It was like a, you well, know it's for a the great Irish beer. I love it. I want to visit Ireland. I like to drink some Guinness there and check out the, some castles. You know, maybe I'll find love in Ireland. Who knows? Find love. In, well, that's an episode. I will. order a Guinness. Show order a Guinness. We'll look at each other and be like, hey, what's up, baby? Hey, but remember the curse, my boy. Remember the curse. Well, she has to be. That's only for Guinness families. I'm not a Guinness family member. Hopefully she's not either. Hey, you know, so speaking of uh, families, 
there's a billionaire. His name's William Gross. And uh, he's accused of playing the Gilligan Island theme at full volume for on a loop for hours. Hey, wait, okay. is that the dude from the beach? Oh, at Laguna Beach. Oh, I heard about that, homie. So Laguna Beach. Yeah. So the, the so his name is William Gross and his neighbor is Mark yes. Tofix. Gross and his the- girlfriend, ex-tennis player Amy Schwartz, installed a 20-foot-long blue glass installation that stretches 10 feet high and is lighted at night. But to protect it, because it's glass. She put up to, this art piece. They had to put a netting around it to protect it. Mm-hmm. Well, it turns out that the netting blocks the neighbor's view of the beach because he has a mansion also. Yeah. These are rich people fighting each other. <laughs> <laughs> These are rich people problems. Rich people they problems. Rich people problems. <laughs> <They're> poor, <laughs> Episode so, one. So that's when the neighbor, his name's Tofik, he's 56. He claimed that the netting blocked his view. So he filed a gripe with the city informing that the art installation lacked the proper permits. <laughs> so the city sent a letter to oh the other gosh. guy, to <laughs> Gross, and then... That's when he got even. That's when boy. he started to get even at him. He started playing fucking the, oh, sit right back like, in your ear and tell him fucking like on a loop. So now they're in court fighting over that shit. What do you think about that? That's torture. And he has video of him, like he was video and it's like, oh, sit right back in it ends and it starts again you know, and again you know, and again. There was uh, uh, some correction officers that got, uh, they got arrested because they were torturing their prisoners by playing Baby Shark. Non-stop. They would put the the pr- oh, yeah. They got they got caught, you know. Well, these crazy billionaires are fighting each other, and they're used to getting their wage because rich people, rich, rich people, people problems. problems. Nuts. Rich people problems. Like I said before, that wouldn't happen to me because I'm poor. I can't. You rich can't afford a, a fifty foot blue glass oh art God, installation or anything <laughs> like that. But anyway, hopefully they uh, they find a solution because at the end of the day, they're neighbors and they have to live with each other.